Hi, I'm Casimir Smith, the Community Engagement Coordinator with the City of Valdosta's Public Information Office. And welcome to our Let's Talk Valdosta, the City of Valdosta's podcast on our government channel. And I'm here with... Erica Thrift, the uh, Media Coordinator in the Public Information Office. So today we just want to really talk a little bit more about our division within the city and just spread some light about some of the things that we do we are always behind the camera so most never people in front of the camera <laughs> ever yes most people don't know what we're doing we're just a fly on the wall most of the time so you know i have everybody walk up to me and say <laughs> are you with the Velasta daily times <laughs> no i'm not i'm not with the Velasta daily times but that's what I, the normal question that i get because yes. i have a camera and a phone and a microphone and yes. it's are you with the news are you with the about <laughs> daily times no i'm with the city oh really so where are these pictures going to be on our the city, city facebook, facebook page, page. <laughs> yes most of our routine is we go to these events or even the city council meetings or any special ribbon cuttings we're always behind the camera taking photos collecting all of the same information that the news collects and we take that time and we share it on all of our platforms. Yes, we are, we're hired to uh, <laughs> tell the city's story. Right. So we have to tell it properly and we as transparently transparent as possible as well. And it's really a lot of fun for us. And like, we take we, a lot of pride in it. We do take a lot of pride in it. <laughs> it's um, take a lot of pride in making sure that we get it out there correctly and aesthetically pleasing as possible. Yes, within a timely manner is also one of the things that we care about the most because we know how important it is to get those media alerts, whether it's, you know, for customer service or anything with utilities. We know how important it is for our residents to know the most up-to-date news. So what's another one of your favorite things about our department, well, division? Well, you know, my favorite thing <laughs> about my division, our division is I get to work with police and fire a lot. <laughs> you know, that's my favorite. Mm -hmm. um, so I enjoy going out with police and fire. So they do a lot of training. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of fun to watch. Mm -hmm. And we get to show the public how much training that they put in behind the scenes to keep mm -hmm. the community safe. And that's the story that I love to tell. Um, I also love telling the story of how they are always in the community from reading books to kids, to um, shop with a firefighter, shop with a cop, uh, to just random things where they just help out um, someone who broke down on the side of the road. Uh, I noticed that uh, other day in, in front of station one, a guy broke down and all the firefighters came out to push him out of the road. So oh. it's those kind of small little things that people don't know that our fire and police do mm -hmm. behind the scenes. And that's the most rewarding part of my job is that I get to put that story out there. With me joining, I feel like I've joined earlier this year and just in a few short months, I can see how many, all of the employees, whether it's from public works, engineering, whether it's from even public safety or even those who don't get seen on a daily, who are just in the office, but are processing all this information for our residents, just seeing how much everyone cares is like one of my favorite things. Yeah, I think I've gotten to know Public Works a I was, lot. Yeah. I was about to say, <laughs> you work with Public Works a lot lately. Um, no, it is fun to see how happy they are. Mm -hmm. To like, uh, I've gone out with um, the old, um, the previous Public Works director, mm -hmm. and I would go out there and get video and pictures of our sanitation workers and mm -hmm. our right of way workers. And they're so happy. Mm -hmm. It's a really, really hard job, but they are it so is. happy. And if they also love to help people. They do. So if they're passing by a house and there's, you know, someone outside who needs help with something, if they can help them really quick, they will. We've had a lot of public works um, employees who have yes. gotten employee of the month yes. because a customer has called in and said, hey, I fell in the, you know, in my driveway and they stopped what they were doing to pick me up, yeah. you know, those kind of things. And then you recently came and yes. started hanging out with them too. So tell us about that. So my biggest project when I first started was preparing for National Public Works Week, which was in May. It was like the, near the end of May. And I got to know all of the divisions and it's just a wide range of things that they do that people don't know about. 
So I spent all this time doing a video project, trying to get the word out about it. We even did the Touch a Truck for Georgia Cities Week this year. And that one was just, it was such a pleasure to see the kids get excited, getting off the bus, running up, seeing the big trucks, seeing all the employees and staff just come together and talk to the kids. The horns that were <laughs> honked that day it was so loud but they all had fun even the ones who were a little scared they eased them up you know yeah helped them get into the truck and see all the little gadgets and stuff so and i think I, that's one of the yeah. things people don't know about um is that our employees are so personable right and they just they love being in the community right. and Speaking of different events, we also have some events coming up soon. Yes. Um, we have Battle of the Badges. Yes. Coming up on July 17th. The great competition. Uh, the great competition <laughs> between fire and police. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can come in, donate blood. Mm -hmm. You're going to get a t-shirt that's Team Fire or Team Police. Mm -hmm. uh, so whoever you choose to donate blood for, you can't hide it this year because <laughs> you're getting a t-shirt that says it. Mm -hmm. You know, who you voted for. So if you voted for police, you better run the opposite direction yes. of the fire chief. Yes. <laughs> they're, and coming then, <laughs> yeah, they're coming for you. They're coming for you. And... Um, you can donate the blood um, July 17th to 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. at the City Hall Annex. Mm -hmm. And it's fun to watch the robbery. It's yes. like, we, you know, you and I recently did some robbery right. videos for them. Yes. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> yes. And then the next thing coming up is the community block party. Yes. Tell us about that. So the community block party is the back to school event that's held annually every year in July. Um, we, that's with our community protection division and with our neighborhood development division um, under Ms. Nietzsche Riley, the manager. And this will be on Saturday, July 27th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at our Unity Park Amphitheater. They'll have the splash pad. All the kids can run through the water. There'll be free haircuts um, and there will be food offered and there are some vendors that are lined up that will be providing some school supplies for um, all the attendees that day. Yes, and last year uh, they get the free haircuts for the first time last year mm -hmm. and it was phenomenal. It was mm -hmm. very successful. And so World of Fades comes out with all their barbers and they will get free haircuts to the kids and yes. so they can get all stylish on their first day of school. Yes, and the haircuts will be done in our city hall annexes multi-purpose room yes so that'll be set up in a different area sort of just two blocks down from the amphitheater a nice stroll through the city it'll be perfectly hot but it'll be fine <laughs> and it'll be so great to be in there to see the kids do their transformation before they walk up into the school yes and they're so excited they have these like <laughs> smiles on their faces mm -hmm. even though sometimes you know some kids don't like the barber but when it's <laughs> done they're excited yeah. about it. They'll be nervous, but they yeah. grow out of it. They do. They grow out of it. So. And and the kids get these backpacks filled with school supplies, and then they're just ready to go to school with confidence. And I think that's the most important part about this event. It's a great way to come together as a community and all all the families and parents who are going to be letting their children go, yeah. you know, have a great start to the year and end of summer for them. <laughs> yeah. And then moving forward after that, we have Festival coming up in October. Yes. That'll be at Unity Park. And then we will also have... Um, what other events will we have? We'll be preparing for our Christmas events. Yes, the Christmas the big season coming up. <laughs> the Christmas tree lighting ceremony that will mm -hmm. also be at Unity Park. And mm -hmm. then, the, of course, the Christmas parade mm -hmm. that we do every year. And I feel like there's one that we're missing. Our mayor's motorcade. Mayor's motorcade. The yes. big one. Yes. Yeah, so it we have mayor. Here. Yes. Mayor's motorcade coming up. And we're very excited about that. We'll this be. benefits the Parkwood Development Center. Mm -hmm. And we have some new exciting ways to get donations and for we'll the residents. Be giving out that information shortly soon, hopefully. Yes, and, and some if, fun things to look out for. Yeah, we are going to just a little, you know, preview. We're going to sell some fire department um, ornaments. Christmas ornaments. So you've got to get your first, very first, to own for the first time <laughs> your fire department <laughs> ornament that says 2024, and it raises money for Mayor's Motorcade mm -hmm. so that they can get. Um, toiletry oh, items, yeah. socks, blankets, shirts for the residents at Parkwood yes. Development Center. And it is so amazing. The firefighters get there with all these gifts and then they pass them out mm -hmm. and the mayor is there. 
And the residents were so happy. And it's a see beautiful Christmas for them. To see their face light up. It's just such a great time. Holiday season, of course. But just in general, getting to see all the energy that everybody gives towards it. And just to shine a light on the residents. It's just always a pleasure to see that. Yes, too. and the mayor always wears his Christmas <laughs> jacket. And the truck comes. Too. Yeah. <laughs> everybody gets to see the truck. They, yep, they get to see the fire trucks and all that kind of stuff. So, well, this has been fun Yeah, to talk about what we do because we're never in front of the camera. <laughs> well, um, I think the only thing that we need to do is close out today. Yes, that's it. We just <laughs> need to close this podcast out. Well, thank you for listening and tuning into our podcast and look for us on all the streaming platforms that you can listen to your podcast. And also pay attention to all of our social media platforms for news and updates with the city of Adasta. Yes.